You want to be the star, right? You want to be in the limelight with the life that you're wildly in love with. You're going to need to have a little chat with your mind and your heart and get these two on the same page. For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Alicia. I'm your sweet psychic strategist who is here to help you have it all because Miss Star, you deserve to have it all. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. This is my only account. Do not get scammed and hit that follow button for more clear and loving guidance. This is really your time to revisit and revise your huge grand goal and also your strategy on how to actually get there. Especially if you already have an established brand. So if you're already TikTok famous, you already have your blue check mark, you already have this following, but you know it's not fulfilling you anymore. It's just kind of meh and you need, you want something different. You're wanting to pave a new way for yourself. You're wanting to create something that feels a little bit more soul fulfilling than the consistent work that you've been doing up to this point. This is where you need to check in with your mind and really ask yourself, okay, I've been feeling a little like blah, meh, it's just not giving with the same stuff that I've been pumping out. What do I need to do differently to create a better strategy to, in a way, shift? gracefully into your new rebrand. What I'm hearing too is the fact that your, your heart, your feelings are already telling you what's not working for you. Um, yes, continue to get that manager or person out of your life because they're not serving you. And, or actually it's like a best friend assistant type situation. Anyway, just cut them out. You saw what happened with Selena, move the fuck on. But this is really about your heart saying, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. And your your head is saying, hey, you can go and do this, this, and this instead. But then what happens is because this is a new level for you, because you're going into a bit of like uncharted territories per se, it's causing your emotions to freak the fuck out because it's kicking up your fear of, you know, it's not going to work out, right? So when you're in this fear, that's when you need to self-soothe and say, no, I've already reached that goal. I need to congratulate myself for getting this far. Now the new goal is this, and this is what we're working towards, and this is gonna be super fun. You've gained a lot of wisdom over, uh, over especially over the past year or two, um, especially just how to run your business and everything like that. But what's been missing now is the fun. And because there's just been this steady de uh, decline of like, this is just not feeling right. Like I'm singing the same songs, I'm doing the same bed. I'm, I'm like, you know, doing the same like kitschy thing. It's not fun anymore for me. That's what you need to bring back. You need to bring back more fun into how you create your content, how you present yourself and what kind of ways and new ways you want to present yourself moving forward. Once you do this, this, there's going to be a very sudden and very unexpected opportunity that will come very quickly to basically give you a sign that yes, this is the right direction. Yes, this is where you're supposed to go. Now, before this happens, it may feel like, oh no, I lost that brand collaboration or, oh no, like, you know, my, my views dipped or, oh no, I'm not getting as many sales as I, as I wanted, but you have to actually look at the long term when you are getting rid of the things that were not really, that were sabotaging you, that were making you feel less than what's going to happen is that's going to crumble away. And then the new will birth from that, right? Something that you're going to fall head over heels in love with and something that you're going to really be able to celebrate with your friends. This is feeling very much like that, like, oh my God, I finally did it. And like, this feels so much more rewarding. And you're going to call up your best friend. You're going to call up your parents. You're going to be like, oh my God, I finally got it. Do you see what I'm saying? If it doesn't feel like that, then it's not, then say no to the opportunity. 222 is a big signifier for you if you've been seeing 222 a lot, but with the high priestess and the two of swords, again, this is a mindset thing of like, I don't know which way to go because I don't want to stop posting my regular stuff and have my views drop, but I do need to change things because it's not working out for me. This is where you need to start tuning into your intuition because it will never steer you in the wrong way and it's always going to tell you, okay, yeah, do this, don't do that. And then really also glean... Um, insight into what is actually sabotaging your continual growth and ascension. And let me tell you, baby girl, 
the stuff that is hiding in the wings, you actually know exactly what has been blocking you. You've just been too afraid to actually take the action to say, no, this is my boundary because you're afraid of losing that friend, that relationship, that money. Spirit is like, you do not have to worry your pretty little head over it. 999 might be something that you'd be seeing a lot because nine of pentacles, you are abundant. The money is coming in. The opportunities are coming in. The ability to actually be able to do something that you truly love now and make it a more fulfilling um, stream of income and like way of presenting yourself now is going to become much more apparent. The kicker is, is that you're going to start to have to take action. Okay. So with the page of, uh, the page of cups and the queen of wands, this is usually, this is like the, you know, dream bigger than you've ever dreamed before, but I'm kind of really getting that you need to get your head out of the clouds and really start to really rethink things, to look at things at face value and then take the appropriate action to whittle out whatever is no longer working for you and then putting other systems in place that will work for you and will support the person that you are becoming like you're 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 stepping into this new identity so give yourself some grace as you go through this transition last little message is uh again I, that's so funny two 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 like two twos and then two nines and then we got to the two favorite tens, the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles with the full card. So what I'm really, really getting here is the fact that this is really your new journey. So you should be excited about this. This is your new chapter where you get to have it all, where it's easy, where the fuck you money just floods into your bank account, where you actually are aligned and attract like harmonious partnerships, like loving friendships that, that don't just take advantage of you and really creating this beautiful life for yourself that you're actually wildly in love with. Take one mini action every single day to show the universe that you're serious about creating that legacy that you are wildly in love with. If you need help with this, go get my Dream Life Blueprint workbook. It's at the top of my page. It's a 25 page PDF that I use to this day in order to manifest everything that I currently have. I'm also going to be coming out with a full blown course based off of that workbook. So if you get the workbook, you're definitely going to be getting a discount code when the course releases soon. If you're ready to claim your rebrand and your legacy and this life that you're wildly head over heels in love with, then drop in the comments below. I now choose to create a life I'm wildly in love with. I love you.